hapa unamwangalia vizuri hebu muangalie vizuri huyo ni mtu ambaye unaweza fikiria kwamba hayuko hai lakini huyo ambaye unamuona hapa ndiye huyu wacha nirudie huyu yes ndiye huyu na kamete is my very good name and i'm telling you sasa huyu ambaye ninakuonyesha hapa ambaye ndiye huyu anafahamika kama Janet Moturi kutoka hapa Nakuru ambaye pia ni mwimbaji wa nyimbo na sio nyimbo tu bali nyimbo za injili. Now, katika mwaka wa 2015 she got very sick such that watu wakampa siku za kuishi. Watu walikuwa wanasema kwamba hiyo ni maiti ni vile tu inapumua. But I tell you God turned things around and of course as you can see <laughs> she is here healthy and still serving the Lord. Now ladies and gentlemen this is Janet Moturi's testimony. Unajua wewe na wewe huyu mwingine mnakaa watu wawili tofauti. Hii picha mtazamaji ambayo anaiona Do you remember what was going through your mind here? Do you have an idea? Wakati umekaa kwa hii sofa na unakaa kabisa like someone who is not there is only that now mtu anaezaona umekiti chini hapo umelala What was going through your mind? Mm. Well, at that time I I could not walk by myself although that particular point I had started medications and everything but i was still very very weak i was not eating yet so as you see me on that couch i'm <laughs> trying to stand up and i'm trying to think how you know how you just sit and stand up and it's a normal thing on a normal day that was not a normal thing on a normal day that particular time so 2015 um ugonjwa ulianza tu kawaida like ile unakuwa na ngai and uh, zile za hapa yes na ilikuwa na uchungu tu kawaida mm-hmm. vile tu you know mtu yote ameshikwa na ngai anajua how it feels to have them mm. ni, ni ugonjwa wa kawaida mm. sometimes unakunywa sukari nyingi sometimes ni baridi mm-hmm. sometimes you know mm-hmm. no different things cause that yeah. so ilianza tu hivyo na nasikia nimefura ko na hakukuwa kitu chochote sasa hizo ulikuwa tu kufura ko na sikia hizi vitu zimefura they call them lymph nodes hizo mm-hmm. ngaini lymph nodes mm-hmm. so naenda kwa daktari daktari ananidunga masindano just the normal antibiotics but you maybe sometime amoxicillin the normal ones kwa sababu wakati ugonjwa unaanza huwa daktari afanye mambo mengi yeah. kwa sababu ana, anataka kutembea na wewe kwanza aelewe what the problem is mm-hmm. plus haikuwa kitu serious nilikuwa naishi Nairobi at that particular ah, time na nilikuwa right. na minister Nairobi ah okay yeah. mm-hmm. so I've always been a full time minister mm-hmm. kwa mziki wow so wakati huo nilikuwa na minister in Nairobi na nilikuwa naishi huko so daktari aka mm-hmm. yeah so daktari akaniambia tu hii ni ngaye ya kawaida mm-hmm. kanipatia madawa But sasa niliendelea kurudi. Nikienda zinaisha zina subside mm-hmm. but after a short time zinarudi. Na zikirudi zinarudi differently. Sio vile zilikuwa hapo mbeleni. Mm-hmm. Zinakuwa either zimefura sana, mm-hmm. maziko na uchungu zaidi. Mm-hmm. So mara kadhaa nikaenda kwa madaktari tu wa general practitioners wa kawaida. Mm-hmm. Wananidunga masindano basi. Sometimes wananipatia dawa ya kuflos, sometimes naambiwa maji na chumvi hivyo. Mm-hmm. Just the normal stuff. But ilifika mahali sasa so, this is uh, so ilianza 2015 tume tume progress into a few months into 2015 mm-hmm. so unakuta shida sasa haikwishi hata ni kidungwa antibiotics paka nikaanza kudungwa sasa zile serious penicillin is one of the strongest antibiotics yeah. na nikidungwa zina subside kidogo tena zinarudi mm-hmm. so wakati sasa ziliamua hazitaenda kabisa hazitapona 
kulianza kutokea vidonda huku nyuma. Allah. Yeah. Okay. So nikaanza kurealize wakati na meza chakula ninasikia uchungu sana. Mm-hmm. So siku moja nikaamua let me see na mira what is happening in my mouth kwa sababu unajua nilikuwa ninaenda kwa daktari ananiambia tu ningai kutumia hii tumia hii anandunga sindano zinarudi zinaisha hivyo. So nikaamua siku moja ibu acha niangalie nini inaendelea. Kuangalia deep into my throat mali ningeza kuona nikaona vidonda viwili. Mm-hmm. Na zilikuwa na usaha. Mm-hmm. So at that particular time zilikuwa hizo mbili tu pande na pande. Mhm. Ikashindwa ni nini sasa? Mimi have never seen something like this. Sababu hata ngaye in fact ngaye hata uwezi kuziona, hatari mm. ndo uziona. Sasa mm. hizi ziko hapa mwisho kabisa mm. na ziko na usa. So ikashindwa what is going on? But sasa unajua wewe uwezi kujiganga wewe yeah. si daktari hata daktari wenda kwa daktari. Yeah. Sasa mimi nikaendelea tu kwenda kwa daktari na jaribu kuuliza ni nini mbaya. Hapa sawa it yangu imeanza kurudi chini kwa sababu it's been a few months na sili vizuri. Ah, yeah. Kwa sababu kila kitu nakula ina cause uchungu. Yeah. Iwe ni chai, iwe ni uji, iwe ni nini kwa sababu ilikuwa imeform kidonda. Kitu chochote kikiingia kwa kile kidonda nasikia uchungu. Wow. Naona. So <coughs> hata iwe ni uji kiingia kwa kile kidonda nasikia uchungu. So the best thing to do ni ku withdraw kukula. So we just try ah. na kula bit. I love matunda was the worst and you know that is one of the healthiest foods mm-hmm. to eat. Mm-hmm. Matunda unajua wa, most of them ziko na acidity. So maybe to kama pineapples, mm-hmm. machungwa mm-hmm. nini. Hiyo tu iguze pale. I will scream. So that particular time ni Nairobi and all my family is back in Nakuru kwa sababu hapa ndo nimelelewa Nakuru. And uh, niko peke yangu. So hakuna mtu hata anaweza kunihimiza kula haka ama niambie acha nikupikie ika kitu jaribu kukula. So ninaendelea tu kukua week mm-hmm. day by day naendelea kwa week. So progressively eh, 2015 kule katikati nikaona hapana hii hali yangu ilikuwa mbaya na siwezi kujiambia mtu nyumbani sababu so, I didn't want them to worry. Uh, I'm an only daughter of my family and uh, niko na mandugu watano mbele yangu. Kwa hivyo mama akisikia uko mbali na wewe mtoto wake msichana wa kipekee rudi nyumbani mbi. Mm. So sikuwa nimesema chochote. Nilikuwa naambia tu sijisiki vizuri but nothing too serious. So um hapo 2015 katikati niko na hali imekuwa mbaya sana na naishi peke yangu mpaka sasa nimeshindwa kujipikia even simple things na shindwa kujipikia kwa sababu hata sina appetite ya kula. Na nimeenda kwa madaktari wamenidunga masindano na ugonjwa sasa uishi. Sasa hata ile kusubside kurudi imewacha sasa imekataa. So it's like now imekuwa serious. Nikaona before things go you know ziko mbaya sana wacha niende na kuru. Mm-hmm. So nikaja na kuru a uh, nilipokuja nyumbani my mom my mom saizo hapo hapa nyumbani alikuwa ameenda uh, we have a farm in Elbagon mm. so yeye ni mhuduma na alikuwa ameanza huduma pande hiyo kwa hivyo alikuwa pande hiyo kwa farm sasa mimi nilipokuja ni baba na ndugu zangu wachacho walikuwa hapa so nikaona hapa sitaweza kuka kwa sababu sasa babangu ni mtu kutoka kurudi ni mtu wa biashara you know when you are sick you want somebody to be there with you mm-hmm. most of the time mm-hmm. na pia hata sikwani nimeelewa shida yangu ni nini yeah. nianza tu kushindwa kula niko na uchungu sana sijielewi so nikaamua I, i think i stayed only a day or two na baba nikamwambia acha niende elbagon nilipoenda elbagon sikurudi na kuru sikurudi na irobi hiyo story ilishia hapo in fact ndi, i had to call nairobi nikamwambia nitolee vitu zangu niweke kwa storage there's a lady alijitolea kuniwekea hizo vitu nilikola friend nikamwambia niondolee vitu zangu kwa ile nyumba muniweke kwa storage ndio nisiendelee kulipa mm-hmm. so mama flani alikuwa na nyumba kubwa akaamua kuniwekea hizo vitu zangu mm-hmm. so mimi nikakaa tukakaa in bagon hasa kuna mtu anajua ni nini mbaya wait inaendelea tu kurudi chini mm-hmm. ugonjwa unaendelea kukua mkubwa so in no time nilikuwa nimejaa vidonda kwa mdomo mdomo wote ulikuwa na vidonda na i think vidonda zilikuwa saa zimekuja mpaka kwa ko. So um and muda si muda zikaanza kutoa usaha. Mm-hmm. Na damu. Mm-hmm. So that particular point sasa ni 2015 sasa inaelekea kuisha. Hii ni karibu mwaka sasa nimekuwa mgonjwa. Mm-hmm. So zikaanza kukuvuja usaha na damu sasa. So hata kukula sasa ikakuwa ni shida kabisa. My mom would press me kunywa kama ziwa jaribu hii jaribu hii kidogo kidogo tu but still it was very difficult mm-hmm. so kuna wakati tukasema ibu acha turudi pande hizi za town tuone kama tumezenda kwa daktari atuambie shida ni nini 
So nikakuja na brother wangu alikuja akanichukua na gari kwa sababu not boy na matatu that particular time nimeanza kuwa very weak mm-hmm. sababu so, sili chakula mm-hmm. vizuri so he came akanichukua akanileta tukaenda kwa daktari ENT akaniangalia hata hata kuweka kale cast you know that ka, 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 kale kambao kadogo huwa wanaeka mtu wana place kwa ulimi ndio mm-hmm. hangeweza kuweka hapo nilikuwa naanza kutapika akiweka tu karibu na mdomo wangu hivi naanza kutapika and that particular time mdomo wangu shanza ku smell because i can't even brush my teeth oh, yeah. so i'm already even smelling na hiyo saa ambayo inatoka so akajaribu kuniangalia akaona shida iko wapi um, according to him now akanambia mimi hapa ninaanza ku suspect throat cancer kwa sababu zile symptoms ambazo uko nazo zinaonesha cancer yako mimi nilishtuka kwa sababu never even imagined kwa maisha yangu hiyo ugonjwa niza kuwa nayo mm-hmm. you know wakati unafikiria mambo mabaya you always think it happens to be to other people yeah not to yourself mm-hmm. so wakati nilisikia mambo ya kansa imesemwa nikasema Mungu wangu kansa alafu sasa kwanza nikafikiria ministry yangu ni yako mimi ni mbaji ah. mimi na ubiri kazi yangu yote ni ko so kwa yangu ikizibwa si nivo Shetani akichukua kwa yangu maisha yangu ameamaliza tuseme. Yeah. So nikafikiria kwanza kansa yako hiyo inamaanisha ni sitawaimba tena. So mwanzo hata alikuwa ananisonga si ati nitakufa ama nitaishi. But <laughs> Ilikuwa hata maybe nikipona mimi mm-hmm. sitawaimba tena. Mm-hmm. Sababu ikisha interfere na vocal cords kwa sababu hizo ndo zinafanya kazi ya uimbaji nivo. You will not be able to sing again. Hai, sasa nikafikiria hii sasa ni mambo gani? kapatiwa madawa i think the, the, the medication was about almost 10000 shillings i think between 7 na 10000 lakini nakwambia alafu ndugu yangu akasema wacha aje akae pamoja na mimi na mke wangu tuone kama tuneza mnas wanitoe kwa mikono ya mama kwa sababu mm. mama alikuwa amekana mimi amechoka you know na sick sick person hata amekufa moyo tuseme although she was still praying for me mm. alikuwa bado na imani avu heal lakini psychologically alikuwa anasikia amechoka. So akasema acha tumtoe kwa mikono ya mama for a short time tukae na yeye. Walikana na mimi hata siku moja. Hiyo siku nikakunywa dawa na sikula. Nilitapika vitu za green. Ndio dawa ilikuwa too strong for my stomach. So the best thing tumbo yangu ingefanya ni kuziondoa. And you had not eaten At anything. All. In fact I remember my sister in law alijaribu kunitengenezea kapopo atisa na something that's not a cd kenye itaweza kupita kwa ko kanitengeneza tu vitu kidogo hapo nikakula lakini hazikuwezana dawa zilikuwa very strong so hakukana mimi hata siku moja in fact i think that very day or either the next day ali mimi mwanangu aliamka kunipeleka kwa mama jaliona we mtoto wetu atakufa kwa mikono yangu na mimi i'm not ready for this you know so nilikunywa hiyo madawa na the previous day wakati tuli I was hopeful. Maji umeenda kwa daktari amekwambia hii inaweza kuwa throat cancer lakini aja diagnose fully. So anakwambia wacha tuanze na hii madawa tuone kama utasaidi utasaidika zitahili zividonda. Mm. So situmeenda kwa daktari tumetoka kwa daktari tumekuja kwa nyumba I'm feeling very hopeful like wow nimepata dawa eh at least nitapo. Wacha nikunywe dawa nikatapika na my stomach just purged itself because it could not handle your strength hizo madawa nilitapika vitu za green hiyo usiku hata ndugu yangu na mke wake wa kulala they were, walikuwa na hofu they kept checking on me in the morning amka tupeleke kwa mama akanirudisha tukaenda kwa mama akaniacha tena na yale yale madawa sikunywa tena kwa sababu siku anaweza kukula Hakuna kitu ambacho inaweza unajua dawa iwezi fanya kazi bila chakula yeah. kwa tuni. Mm-hmm. So wakati nilifika hivyo na tulikampa mama ile ripoti ya kwamba imesemekana inaweza kuwa throat cancer lakini mm. eh, daktari ametupatia haya madawa. Ni jaribu kula ni kunywa madawa siku yanywe tena. Mama madawa ilishia hapo. Lakini my mama wakati alisikia ile news alikuwa shaken kabisa. Aliona asa Am I about to lose mtoto wangu yeah, ama niache? My only daughter. Yes. Yeah. But my mom is a woman of faith. She's a woman of faith. Mm-hmm. So my mama kasema, mimi tutaanza maombi. 
Mm-hmm. Mimi kile tutafanya ni maombi. Mimi hata mambo daktari sitaki tena. Na sitaki hata ni usingine ya daktari. Na unajua after that kitu yenye ningefanyiwa ndio confirm kama ni kansa ingekuwa biopsy. Yeah. Ningeenda nifanywe ya small operation biopsy ifanywe ndio julikane kabisa kama hii ni throat cancer ndio wajue ile process wataanza ya, ya kunini yeah. ni kiwa. Mhm. Mama alikata. Alikata akasema huyu haendi hospitali tena. Simu menunua madawa 1700 si 1000. Amekunywa. She took only three tablets. Akatapika kama mtu anataka kufa. Sinulia mtoto wangu. Nyinyi na madaktari and your, 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 your specialty staki tena. Sasa tutaomba. Kwa naamka kila siku hmm. anaomba. Mimi sasa hata sauti yangu So maombi ikabadilika ikakuwa ndiyo dawa eh, na ndiyo kila kitu. Maombi kawa dawa. And that particular time sasa tumeingia 2016. So mwaka wote wa 2015 umeisha tumeingia 2016. Tulipoingia 2016 situation ikawasen. Unajua most of the time ukianza kuomba, ukianza kupigana na shetani, mambo ubadilika. Things become worse. Do you know that? When a situation is bad na uanze kupigana na principalities of darkness, usually shetani huwa anaweka moto kabisa ndio kukudiscourage. Your prayers are not yes, working. Yes, exactly. Things become worse before they become better. That is the one thing ambao watu wanafaa kuelewa sana when you are in the battleground with the enemy. And the Bible says tunapigana against principalities of darkness, sio damu na nyama. Mm-hmm. Kwa hivyo wakati shetani anaona umeinua kiwango na yeye huinua kiwango ndio akuoneshe kiwango chako hakuna kazi inafanya. Ah, na imani yako hakuna kazi inafanya. So wakati sasa tuliinua kiwango tukasema ni kuomba sasa tumeachana na mambo ya madaktari. Shetani akainua kiwango chake. Niliacha kukula kabisa sasa Wilson. Kabisa hakuna uji, hakuna juice, hakuna maziwa. Hakuna kitu ingeguza hicho kidonda. Ju anything. Even that a small windy thing ingeguza hicho kidonda. Ile kilio ningelia. So mimi nikasema sasa kaa nikufa ni ku nikufa. Sasa imam angetengeneza maybe glass kama hii ya maji moto, aweke anointing oil, aweke chumvi. Hii ndio ilikuwa chakula yangu. Asubuhi saa saba jioni hiyo ndio ilikuwa chakula yangu. Miezi kama nne kuelekea tano si kula chakula cha mtu hivi. Are you for real? Yes. Si kuonja chakula. Nilikuwa nakunywa maji ambao mamangu amemwambia. Yusa ilifika hali na huyo sasa hiyo sasa hiyo ndo anaambiwa si upeleke mtoto hospitali. Ndio watu hata wale wale walikuwa wanakuja kutembelea majirani zake kule kwa shamba wanamwambia Mbono unakaa na mfu kwa nyumba. Kwa sababu mtoto angeniangalia alikuwa anaona mtu mfu. Venye tu ulikuwa unakaa. Eh, I looked like a corpse. <laughs> eh? Uh-huh. So um akaulizo kwa nini unakaa na mfu kwa nyumba? Na mama akasema mimi as long as ninaona anamka kila siku, anajitoa kwa kitanda, anapumua, ninajua kuna Mungu na i know a miracle is coming kwa sababu mama wa mama Mungu ameongea kuhusu mtoto wangu ninaamini he is not ready to take her home hiyo ni month moja inapita mwezi wa pili mwezi wa tatu mwezi wa nne mwezi wa sikuli kitu chochote na naamka tu kila siku kila siku nitaamka kwa hicho kitanda mm-hmm. but mornings were my worst kwa sababu asubuhi nilikuwa nikiamka nina uchungu sana You know how you have a cold and then at night those things clog in your nose yeah, or your throat. Yeah, so when yeah. you wake up in the morning unataka kuzitoa. Mm-hmm. Sasa zangu zilikuwa was sababu ilikuwa hiyo sana damu imeshikana. Okay. Sasa kuitoa ilikuwa uchungu. It was mornings were my worst. Vile unaamka tunaona a bright day. Mimi nilikuwa naamka na jua sababu ile process tena. Nachukua hiyo maji moto iko na chumvi ndio na nakunywa naanza kutoa hizo vitu nazitoa. I used to have a cup ambao nilikuwa na naweka hizo vitu ingemwagwa hata mara kumi kwa siku inajaa usana dawa kama hitu my mama anachukua anaenda na anachimba ana kashimo anazika anarudi anaosha ananiwekea hapo mm-hmm. almost 10 times in a day so tukaendelea kuomba mimi kuna wakati nilikuwa na uchungu mpaka naambia Mungu Mungu wangu sinife tu kama kama plan yako na maisha yangu imefika hapa si nife tu lakini sometimes nakaa nakumbuka ahadi zako tena ni za kweli na mama ambao umeniahidi haiwezi kuwa hapa ndo mwisho sababu inamaanisha wewe umekuwa muongo na biblia inasema wewe si muongo 
na wala wewe si mwana wa mwanadamu uregret ile kitu ambao umetuambia so how come the word that you've spoken to me is now almost coming to an end and it's not coming to fulfillment ni nini inaendelea mimi nikamwambia Mungu kama uko tayari kuchukua maisha yangu chukua na kama hauko tayari kuchukua maisha yangu niponye sasa hii ni mwaka na nusu tumeingia 2016 tuko katikati ni mwaka na nusu tulipoendelea na maombi kuna mama mmoja ambaye ni rafiki yangu sana ni pasta mm. na anaishi Kisumu na yeye ni daktari ni nurse na bwanake ni daktari mm-hmm. so little did i know this was my point of turn around hapa sasa ndo mambo yalikuwa yanakuja kubadilika baada huo muda wote wa uchungu na kumlilia Mungu kutokula ku lose hope hiyo yote mimi niliambia Mungu sasa kwa sababu mimi nimeokoka si mimi mtoto wako kama nikufa ndio utanichukua mm-hmm. kama naishi na kuishia chagua that is the moment i entered rest kwa sababu nilikuwa ninajua kama ni kifo niko kwa Mungu na kama ninaishi na mwishia Mungu. Mm-hmm. Akafanya huma makatoka Kisumu akaja. Mm-hmm. Alikuwa anakuja tu kuniona. Mm-hmm. And she came and wakakuwa na wakati mzuri sana wa kuomba na mama akaniona. Unajua hakuwa ananiona kuna picha alikuwa na unajua wakati aliniona mwisho na wakati aliniona tena those were two different, two different people. people. Yeah. So akapiga kona yake simu akamwambia Janet hayuko kwa hali nzuri. Lakini bwana yake anaambia berudi kwanza aliporudi akaona picha zangu kwa simu akasema hivi ndo Janet anakaa mwanake akamwambia na umemwacha kwa nyumba na mama yake na wewe ni daktari akamwambia pana unafaa umlete kisumu mlete tuone vile tunaweza kumsaidia Haka, mimi nikachukuliwa a person was supposed to be transported na ambulance nilienda tu na gari kawaida tulikuwa mimi ndugu yangu babangu na mama yangu lakini safari ilikuwa ngumu sana because I was not strong. Lakini Mungu alinishikilia. Mm-hmm. Sababu Mungu alikuwa anajua pale mbeleni ndio mirako yangu inakuja kutokea. Ukapokelewa vizuri na hapo sasa ndio madaktari walianza kunipatia madawa ambayo yalifaa. Lakini unajua already mm-hmm. tulikuwa tumeomba. So Mungu alikuwa shata na around my story. Mm-hmm. So hata kama yule daktari alikuwa ame mention cancer through this time of prayer Mungu alikuwa sha turn around my story. Mm-hmm. So by the time ilikuwa nafika Kisumu it was a treatable disease. Wow. It was just a very severe bacterial infection. So God already turned the story from being to cancer to, to a bacterial that infection it, yes. that can be treated. So wow. tukaenda hospitali tukapatiwa madawa mengi sana. I remember for seven days nilikuwa kwa madawa madawa. Nilikuwa kama mtu wako hai like I'm high on cocaine or something. Mm-hmm. I every day drip for seven straight days. Every day drips. Every day na kwa maji na wekwa nini? For seven days siko na jijua. I used, I think I used to talk things ambazo sielewi. I love you so seven days ni lita pika. Vitu zinakaa kama nyama nyama hivi. Mm-hmm. Eh, ni natapika every day especially at night sababu ndo nilikuwa napewa madawa mengi ndio nilale mm-hmm. natapika 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 but after seven days i just woke up siku moja na nikaitisha chakula in, for the first time for the first time in almost two years jesus nikaamka nikaitisha chakula in fact nobody believed kwa hiyo nyumba nikamwambia mimi nataka kukula leo in fact nilikuwa nasikia like nuneni soko mzima <laughs> cuz when when the body has been deprived of important nutrients what happens is wakati saa unasikia unataka kula you want everything naweza hata angalia maji naanza kusalivate ningeangalia beans naanza kusalivate ningeangalia samaki naanza yani mate inaanza kutoka kwa sababu body inaitisha hizo vitu mm. nikatengenezwa mkate mayai na chai nilizichapa one touch <laughs> for the very first like time a, after yes. quite a long time yes after months and months of not eating after two years of being sick lakini sasa kwa sababu ya madawa ambayo nilitumia na mwili yangu vile ilikuwa ime, ime, imekosa madini mengi. Unajua nyu, hair is grown by what you eat mm-hmm. in your body. Mm-hmm. So nywele yangu ilianza kuchomoka tu. Sasa hizo I'm in my healing process mm-hmm. lakini nywele yangu ikaanza kukatika. Ni kichana inajia kwa kichana. Nywele yangu ikaisha yote. Ni kama mtu amefanywa kemo. Exactly. 
So Mungu alinifanyia kimo yake acha tuseme. <laughs> mm-hmm. My hair ikaenda yote kamiti yote. Ikasema wa and then I was looking forward kuchana haka kanyoleka mm-hmm. unione tu vile nitakuwa smart after this time of sickness. Nika feel very discouraged because as you can see yeah. I really love hair yeah. and this is you my do. hair. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love my hair. So nika sema kai yule angu imeenda hivyo. Will I ever have hair again? In fact I remember nilisikia wa Mungu ameniambia nywele itakuwa tena. Why are you worried? Na Mungu amekupona. Mhm. So mimi nika relax. My hair it is sprout as the good people are watching me right I'm now can you. see. My hair it has sprout and in the last few years it has grown to be this long. So hapo hakuna farasi farasi. Hakuna farasi. Na muongezo. Hakuna muongezo. <laughs> So I'm still serving the Lord. Um nili realize sauti yangu ya kuimba kumbe haikuenda na mapepo. Wow. Shetani alishindwa na akashindwa. Because the moment in fact niliweza kuongea, the first thing I did was try to sing. Yeah. Nilipona naweza kuimba nikajua basi. Shetani ameshindwa kabisa. So after nimepona, alikuwa album yangu nilikuwa nafanya that particular time nikaimaliza. Mm. Hata nyimbo zangu nimezieka sasa kwa YouTube people can be able to watch them. Yeah. Anaenda kwa channel yangu wazi watch. Mm-hmm. Your YouTube channel? Yes. Name? Um Janet Moiruri. I'm yeah. still using my father's surname okay. sababu hiyo ndo nilianza naye muziki. Okay. So it's Janet Moiruri. Yeah. yeah. Niko na familia. Yeah. Baada ya that trying period nilikuwa hata boyfriend sina. Yeah. <laughs> But nikapata mtu nikaonekana yeah. yeah. na nikaolewa haleluya to the lamb of god mpaka mtoto yeah. na nimeolewa nikiwa na miaka 37 yeah. na sasa niko 41 so kama kuna mtu wote kia wewe kuna 41 yes i have 40 i just turned 41 the other day yes hata the my camera guy anasema <laughs> ni kama kuna Kiswahili <laughs> no let me tell so you something god restored your health yes. mpaka ni kama yeah wakati Mungu ah. ako na mpango na maisha yako anamwaibishaga shetani mara mbili mara tatu zaidi sababu hata mtu akiniangalia sasa hii anaweza fikiria kaka kwa 20 something ndio kameanza maisha i am 41 now na niliolewa nilikuwa na 37 years baada ya hizo trials zote Mungu yuko Janet Muturi <laughs> ambaye ni mwimbaji wa nyimbo za injili na kama vile ambavyo umeona hizo picha by the way I don't even need to tell you something else but the only thing that I can tell you we serve a living God and he is a healer Kamute is my name hey back on next Sunday I wish we had more time hey, hey lala salama kwaheri